Damselflies, along with their kissing cousins the dragonflies, are undoubtedly the most beloved of the aquatic insects. They eat mosquitoes, they don't bother people, and they are as elegant as they are beneficial. Their courtship and mating are as elegant as the bugs themselves. The males perform intricate flight and wing displays to attract a female. Before mating, the male transfers his sperm to a special pouch near the base of his abdomen. When the receptive female is selected by the male, he snags her by the neck and claims her as his own. She, in turn, bends her abdomen forward to receive the sperm. During the sperm transfer, the male uses a special appendage to remove any sperm his promiscuous friend may have retained from a previous mating. Damselflies usually deposit their eggs into vegetation, and many species crawl underwater to lay their eggs. The insect is cloaked in a glistening sheath of air from which she breathes. As oxygen is depleted, it is replaced by diffusion from the surrounding water. The damsel makes a small incision in the plant stem and inserts her eggs. She repeats the act several times before depleting her egg stores. When ovipositing is completed, the damselfly releases her grasp and the buoyant air sheath lifts her to the surface. The shimmering form is visible from long distances and trout eagerly home in on the helpless insects. The damselfly nymph typically spends one year underwater. It prefers the shelter of dense vegetation where it can eat without being eaten. It is a superb predator and a vital component of a healthy ecosystem. When time comes to hatch into the adult, the nymph follows an instinctive urge to swim to the shallows. It is a bullheaded, seemingly suicidal blitz through open water. When it reaches shore or emergent structures, it wastes no time leaving its aquatic home. The nymphal exoskeleton breaks open at the thorax and over a period of several minutes to even an hour or more, the winged adult emerges. Once outside the husk, the adult pumps fluid into its wings and they slowly expand and gain structural integrity. This period is called the tenoral stage and the insect is absolutely helpless and predators can feast. Survival of the species is only assured by vast numbers of damsels that hatch in synchronicity. Only the luckiest and most strong damsels will pass their genes into the next generation.